Well, it was, uh, it was fun to watch Reed Roman play tonight. Made a great catch. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we see that catch on ESPN tonight. I certainly hope so. Um, he played an played an unbelievable game for us tonight. Had a two strike hit by pitch, and uh, which led to uh, uh, them intentionally walking Seth uh, with. Uh, and Weston Wilson came up with a huge, huge three run homer to kind of break that game open. Um, I thought we played very well. I thought we had really good at bats. Uh, situational uh, situational hitting, we've got to be a little bit better. Had a couple guys on third base and were unable to get them in, but for the most part, I thought our approaches at the plate were really good tonight. Thought we had some really good at bats. Uh, defensively played well. Uh, Jake Higginbotham gave us another really good start. Uh, Brooks Crawford um, found a way to, uh, to get out of it, gave up some hits, but the thing I like so much about Brooks when you bring him in the ball game is, boy, does he pound the strike zone. Uh, he forces teams to swing the bat, and, and our guys have done a good job of playing deep behind him. Uh, and I thought Pat Andrews, again, for his second appearance, boy, he looked really, really good. Uh, he looks like more and more like a guy that uh, we're going to turn to in big situations. So uh, just overall, I thought we played really well, found a way to score eight runs tonight. I thought Presbyterian had a really good offensive ball club. I thought they took some really good swings. Um, you know, they got ten hits, but again, uh, we only walked three, and I think uh, you know several of those were late. Uh, so we pounded the strike zone, forced them to get hits, and uh, thought we took advantage. Uh, we walked quite a few times tonight, had uh, six walks, uh, took advantage of some errors, uh, got hit by a few pitches, stole a couple bases. So uh, you know, plenty of freebies on the board for the Tigers tonight, and that was the difference for us. Uh, again, that's that's been the big consistent factor for us as we've been winning the freebie battle. And we've been winning a lot of games because of that. So uh, just proud of our efforts. Coach, when you see Reed make a web jam like that, does that make you inclined to deploy him in left as opposed to the DH spot more? Yeah, I think so. And I think you've seen that kind of over the last few weeks. Uh, uh, we've been playing him out there more and more just because you know, Reed has shown no reason uh, for us to, to take him out. And, you know, it's not, not oftentimes do we take him out or, you know, even Seth out uh, from right field um, for, because we don't trust him. Uh, it's more just to try to get some other guys who are pretty good defenders out there and, and, and try to develop a role for them as well. Uh, we feel like, uh, you know, with a Wharton or a Malik or a K.J. Bryant, we don't lose anything defensively. And uh, it's good to try to find roles for those guys defensively. But Reed has been really, really good defensively for us. And, man, he's been running the bases very well. He's been very aggressive. You know, he tagged up. Um, I almost, I was cringing a little bit when that throw was coming to third. The right fielder had a pretty good arm, but I'd rather make aggressive mistakes. And um, but he's been running the bases hard. He's been playing really good defensively. We all know how good a hitter he is, and you know he hadn't been getting the amount of hits that he'd like to get. But he's been competing and uh, had some really, really good at bats for us tonight. Got that two strike hit by pitch to lead the inning off. Had a two out double to score two runs late to extend the lead, which is, again, one of those big things we talk about when we do have a lead. Uh, so uh, he's been playing really, really well for us, and I'm very proud of him how, how he's been playing. Seth's probably going to get some more walks the way he's doing it to play. How nice is it to have somebody like Weston right behind him? Well, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was like a cheerleader when he hit that home run. I went, I went nuts in the dugout. <laughs> so uh, just because... I'm so proud of him and what he's able to do hitting behind Seth. We, we know how special Seth Beer is, and they're going to be careful with him, and I, and I would have walked him too. So I, don't, I, I, I thought it was the right move on their part to walk him and let somebody else beat him. And, you know, Wes is going to have to do that. You know, Wes is going to have to step up when they walk Seth. And, um, and boy, you know, he did such a good job. He got in a good count, and they threw him a pitch. He could get the head of the bat out on, and, you know, he put it in the seat. So I was just really – uh, really proud of him for stepping up right there. That was, you know, it was a difference in the ball game. Weston's at bat and Reed's double, Reed's HBP to lead off the inning, and, and Reed's two out double, and Reed's play in the outfield. You know, that was really kind of the difference in the game. And again, we threw the ball well. You know, we we, we threw a lot of strikes and forced them to hit. They got more hits than we did, but uh, you know, we scored eight runs and they scored four. And that's that's what happens when you throw strikes. When you force people to beat you by swinging the bat and you play good defense, it's hard to beat a team. You got to beat us. We're not going to beat ourselves. And that's the that's been the difference in this ball club. I think this year is is we force teams to beat us. And uh, we've we've been playing pretty well. Hopefully, we can continue to do that.